Coach Abu and Quincy were up here, and, and Quincy said we're a leaderless group. Is that kind of the message you're echoing in the locker room where you're challenging someone on the team to, to step up and be that leader? Yeah, and you know we're at a point where this is the moment of truth for us. Obviously, we know we have a big game on Saturday, and uh, I thought you know through the nine games we've played, this was our, our worst performance, and in particular the second half of this game. Um, we were far from perfect in the first half, but we should have been up more than the three points, breakaway dunk, and, and the and turnovers, which in so many cases are self-inflicted. Um, you see at the end, you know, they, they end up scoring 30 points off of our turnovers. That's not who Delaware is. They're a good team. They're experienced. We knew it was going to be a good game. We knew that uh, they're very experienced in a seasoned group. Every game they've played has been a tough one. Um, but the second half is a different story. We gave in. Uh, we didn't fight to the end. Um, when things got hard, instead of coming together on the defensive side of the ball, the opposite happened. And uh, you could just see it. We have a couple guys. I mean, it's we have a confidence problem. You know, it's uh, shooting, and you let your offense affect the next play. You let your offense affect your emotion. Next thing you know, you're not playing basketball. You just it doesn't feel right. And uh, I wouldn't say the whole game was like that. We did a lot of good things in the first half, and at the end of the game, you know, we pick up the stat sheet, and you're like, you're 27 for 53 from the field, eight for 16 from three, 18 of 25 from the line. But you had 17 turnovers in which they converted into 30 points, head-scratching turnovers. Um, but when that went south, uh, our inability to get a big stop, to block out, to see your man cutting behind, uh, effort, concentration, fight, uh, we lost it. Now, I've been involved with tough losses you know it's you do it for a number of seasons there's always those games where you don't have it or you play against a really good team away from home and uh, you know what the game gets away from you but I would say this game right here was different for me uh, I thought our guys they didn't play to the end it's the hardest thing there to understand how you can go from Friday competing the way you did and, and playing as hard as you did against a really good team and then that not being there tonight. Yeah. Yep. And, you know, the way our schedule is set up is we're playing good teams. You know, Delaware's a good team. Um, there, there's not one of those freebie games, you know, where uh, if you're not at your best, you're still going to be okay. And, and look, where we're at, talent, depth, experience, uh, we don't have any room for error, so we know that. But coming into this game, you know, we've played eight games. We've been at it a while now, and our defense is ahead of our offense. I mean, we've, whether it be against Houston or throughout our schedule, we've we've had the ability to get big stops and play good defense. Um, sometimes we're better for the first 20 minutes. We can't sustain it. You know, talk about growing your good play or be the same team in the second half as you are in the first half. But th this game falls into a different category. And, uh, you know, it's about leadership. It's about fight, unselfishness, hard play, will, toughness. And, uh, you know, as a group, and, and look, I would be, you know, way off if I didn't acknowledge Quincy. You know, Quincy played a terrific game. Played 36 minutes. I mean, he had 34 points, 10 for 16 from the floor, 5 for 10 from three, 9 for 10 from the line. I, th I thought that was clearly, not only is it his best game, but he's been playing well. Um, so I, I think you have to mention him. But once we go past that, I'm sure some guys had good moments. Again, our team was much more together and effective in the first 20 minutes. We came out after halftime. We, we didn't have it. Sean, fight, toughness, confidence, some of the things you've mentioned, can that be coached? I think we're going to find out. You know, we have to address it. And uh, younger guys are going to have to learn. 
and we have to use this as a learning experience to grow and be better, and we have to be better on Saturday. I'm disappointed. I'm the coach. There's a lot of things, you know, you always want do-overs. If I could have had a chance to self-reflect, you know, I, I would have done this, would have done that, even in the preparation. But we, we worked hard from the Houston game. We knew this was a big week, kind of set the tone for that. And uh, but we weren't we weren't able to perform tonight against Delaware. You might not know this answer until after Saturday, but is is having a game that is targeted by you know fans gets a lot of attention on Saturday a good thing to wake your team up this week, or will you not know that until you see how they play? Yeah, I mean we're going to have to find out. We have to be ready to go. That's our responsibility. And uh, whether we're coming off a great performance and we won tonight's game or we're coming off of a horrid performance like we had, we're going to play the game. And it's a home game, and we know who we're playing, and we have to be at our very best. That's our responsibility. I said it last year, and I'll echo the same thing this year.